Right, Puffins, it's time for phonics. But somebody I can hear is still snoring. Let's go and find him. Where is Charlie? After three, shout, wake up, Charlie. One, two, three, wake up, Charlie. How rude. Look, he's just turned over. You're going to have to be louder, guys. After three, one, two, three, wake up, Charlie. Charlie does look tired, doesn't he? So, Charlie, why are you so tired? Guess what he did last night? He and the minions had a banana party and he has eaten too many bananas. Oh dear, naughty Charlie. All right, are you ready to learn, Charlie? So, from your pack, can you find your sheet of tricky words that looks like this one, please? Well, go through them together with Charlie. We know the orange ones, we've done those, those. Let's read that one, that one is the Hi. Go. Charlie says, don't tell him to go. That one there. Two. Charlie said, don't say no to him. What's the word say? No. Silly Charlie. All right, this one. Look, there's something in there. I can spy. Into. Right, let's go on to the purple words. Now these ones, are, look at the end. 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 Although they're all air. In these words, do we say air, Charlie? And now we say E instead. That's why they're tricky. So, what's this word? He... E, she, we, Charlie, it's not the rude we, dirty boy, this one, M me, B. Right, now, this one is where we're rude, but don't let mummies and daddies listen, because it does say, was, was, are we going for a was, Charlie? So what's this one, guys? Was. Strange, isn't it? All right, over here, do you know this one? You. And you've got a v at the beginning there. They. I haven't really looked at this one, I don't think. It's not al. We have to say all. And then this one is ah. Do you remember? We did that one. Because we covered that up and we remembered the phoneme here. Ah. Oh. Right, we're going to play a quick game. Can you point to the words before Charlie does? Who's going to win, Charlie? Are you going to beat Charlie? All right, here we go. Who can find the word first? Point to the word... No. Did you beat Charlie? N oh, no. All right, next one. Point to the word me. Where is it? Who got there first? Next one. Can you find you? Got it. Can you find she? Do two more. Who can find 
Oh, let's do the one we did the other day with the R sound, and it has got, and it's just the tricky word, R. Can you find R, Charlie? There it is. Last one. We. Naughty Charlie. Hey, who, who won, you or Charlie? Anyway, give yourselves a clap. On Friday, we will do the spelling of the tricky words. So you'll need to cut this sheet out, or you might already have it from when we did homework a few weeks ago, so you can use that instead. But for Friday, can you cut those letters out if you haven't got that sheet? Thank you. All right, yesterday I gave you the challenge of cutting out all of those letters and the phoneme that we did yesterday, which was... If you haven't done that, I will do that now, so pause the video, because we're going to use them to do spelling for the phoneme that we focused on yesterday, which was ch. Okay, so you cut yours out, and I'll go to my magnetic letters. So Charlie has got his magnetic letters here ready, and he is going to hide one. So I'm just going to put you down there for a second. So what's missing? Can you see... What has Charlie taken from the alphabet? Oh, there's a gap here. The first letter. Ah, off oh, Charlie. Let's put that back. All right, Charlie's going to sneak up and take another one. Let's go over here. All right, what's he got? What's missing this time? Spotted it. Comes after D, before the F. It's the F, the E. Right, ready, let's do another one. Have a look. Which one's Charlie got? Oh, well, that's a huge gap here. After the F, before the J. H I E J. Right, so we got an E. Right, so I'll hide another one. Here you go, Charlie. Which one is it this time? Hmm. Trickster, Charlie. Oh, I think it's over here. There's a gap. So it's something that's after the N, before the P. Right, so he's taken a, a, i, o, a, e, i, o. Mm, can you predict, can you guess what he's going to take next? Right, have a look. There's the gap. What comes after t, before the v? It's a... Uh, why did Charlie take the A, E, E, O, A? Can you remember what they are? The vowels, that's right. You find those letters in nearly every single word. So we're going to use our ch from yesterday to spell some words today, okay? So the first word is chop. So you're going to say the word, use our phoneme fingers, and remember it when we take it back. Ready? So... Everyone say, chop, ch, -o -p. chop. Now, can you make that with your magnetic letters? Off you go. Give you a bit of time. Okay, so it was ch, o, p. There were three phonemes. I'm going to use, if you've cut your one out, Gonna use this one first, so cheats, because the k and the ha together makes ch. So we got ch, then it was ch, o, and then p, ch, o, p, chop. Right, put your letters back. Alright, 
next word. So you're going to say it after me. I'm phoning finger. It is the word chip. So say it. Here we go. Chip. Ch. I. P. Rainbow. Chip. Right, you make it. Go for it. Ch. I. P. Three phonemes. Quick. So you got ch. What comes next? Ch. I. And on the end. Right, put your letters back. Right, next word is a part of your body on your face, your chin. Right, everyone say it. Here we go. Chin. Ch. I. N. Chin. Make it go. So, have you found your letters? Ch. I. N. So, ch is at the beginning. I get my ch. What comes next? Ch, I, and then N. Let's make sure it's right. Ch, I, N, chin. All right, that is back. All right, so I'm going to say a word. I want you to do the phoneme fingers and then make it. So the word is chug, like a train. Chug, go. Ch, a, g, Tra chug. Chug. Who's going to do it first? You're watching, Charlie. All right. Ch. A. G. All right, here we go. Ch. A. G. Ch. A. G. Chug. All right, all of those words, I'm just going to put my letters back, had the ch at the beginning of the word. Now listen to where it is in the next word. So we're going to use the word much. Okay, so it doesn't start with ch this time. So use our phoning fingers and find out where it goes. So say the word, here we go. Much. M a ch. Much. Where is it? Mm. What's at the end? Go, make it. See if I can beat you. I'm gonna do mine now. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh. And. Ch. So we're three phonemes. One, two, three. Let's check it. Mm. Uh. Ch. Much. Right, we're gonna cheat now. We're gonna make the word such. There's only one letter you've got to take off. Now, say the word. Phoning finger, say it and rainbow and say it again. Such, such. Which one do you have to change? Can you find it? I'll give you a few more seconds. Okay, I'm going to take away this one because such doesn't have m in it. It has such, such. Right, well done. Right, to finish off phonics, I'm going to show Charlie how to write a sentence with a ch for Charlie word in it, okay? So, can you say this sentence for me? I smell fish and chips. Can you say it? Say it again. I smell fish and chips. says he can smell you. Very naughty. Right. I smell fish and chips. I'm going to count those words. I smell fish and chips. So we're going to have a sentence that has how many words? Five. Right. Let's write it together then. You can do it in your purple book if you want or any piece of paper, whatever you've got. I've put these out to help me just in case I can't remember what a letter looks like or where to start it when I write it. Those two things are in your pink folder. So if you want to get those, pause. But if not, let's write our sentence. I smell fish and chips. So the first word is I. 
And we know how to do the tricky word, I. A nice big capital, it's also the beginning of the sentence, it would have to be a capital. I. Right. I smell. So we've got s, n, e, l. Four phonemes. See if you can write smell. Don't forget to leave a finger space. S, n, e, l. S, n, e, l. Right, let's do it together. You can pause it if you haven't done it. So first phoneme was s. Mm. Eh. And then l. Now, sometimes at the end, you remember when you've got l, you might need to have two of them. But they only make one phoneme. Charlie. Now, like, why did Charlie choose this sentence? Read it back to yourself. Oh, do you, you dirty children. Right, let's go on to the next word. I smell fish. F I sh fish. <laughs> right, you write it first. <laughs> I'll give you a bit of time. F I sh Right, if you haven't done it, pause it, but if not, here we go. So you got Oh, that wasn't very good. What's it besides? F, I, and then to do sh, we need two phonemes, don't we? To make the sh, just like the ch. I smell fish. What's the next word? And, okay. A, n, d. You go for it. And. Alright, I'm going to do it. A. Oh look, that's our handwriting letter, so I'm going to make sure I do that very beautifully. Ah. Mm. Now check with your bed if you're not sure which way around the d goes. I smell fish and... There's one more word to go. I smell fish and... Oh, it's a ch word. It's chips. So let's go. Chips. Ch. I. P. S. Chips. How many phonemes? Four. Right, you go for it. Chips. So don't forget the ch. Give you a bit of time. Ch. I. P. S. S. Ch. I. P. S. Right, I'm going to go for it. Here we go. So the ch is made up of k. And huh? See how beautiful my k is? Because we did that yesterday. And then ch, i, p, s. Alright, we've done our sentence. There's something missing. Let's check it is a sentence. I smell fish and chips. What do we need on the end? Oh yeah, a full stop. Right, read it back to me. I smell fish and chips. Well done. Alright, off you go.